Well, travel troubles continue for passengers at airports across the country this morning. There have been more than 35,000 delays and 7,000 cancellations since Saturday, frustrating people either traveling on business or simply try to start their vacations. Meanwhile, Delta officials reported an emergency landing in Charlotte, North, Car North Carolina yesterday after a plane malfunctioned and forced passengers to be evacuated. Chris Van Cleve has more on all of this from Phoenix. Chris, good morning. Good morning, Anne Marie. Certainly some scary moments for folks in Charlotte as that plane with its landing gear issue. More on that in a moment. For most people that were flying yesterday, it wasn't an emergency in the skies. It was weather, delays, and cancellation. Those travel troubles we've been talking about now all week long. And this is going to be the biggest test of the week so far. The start of the 4th of July travel rush really begins today. The FAA says today is the day where the highest number of scheduled flights, more than 52,000. Yesterday was less bad than the rest of the week. Maybe we can move today to OK as a status. Uh, airlines are hoping they've turned the corner, but buckle up. Let's go ahead and declare an emergency. This is not how you want to start your 4th of July getaway. Delta Flight 1092 landing without its nose gear in Charlotte Wednesday. 101 passengers and crew quickly evacuated the Boeing 717 onto the runway using emergency slides. No one was hurt. Chris Kotarzak was on board. It sounded like a loud thud and then just scraping of metal on concrete. Delta Airlines apologized to customers calling the emergency landing a rare occurrence. But what's starting to feel all too common to flyers this week, travel troubles. For a fifth day in a row, weather and staffing issues created chaos at airports. I'm like, I need a miracle. From LA to New York, another nearly 7,000 flights delayed, almost 1,200 canceled as airlines struggled to recover ahead of the looming holiday travel surge. I almost lost it, actually, that last leg. Rollin I Simmons was trying to beat the 4th of July rush, but instead, got caught in it. I went from Houston to Nashville, from Nashville to Baltimore, from Baltimore to Long Island, from Long Island, Ubering into Manhattan. Friday could see the TSA screen more than 2.8 million people, a potential record breaker for the 4th of July holiday. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg. Now we've known that summer is going to be a stress test on the system. The good news is we've seen a lot of progress this year through Memorial Day and also a major improvement to passenger rights compared to a year ago. Now, one of the big things to watch today is United Airlines' performance. United has really taken the brunt of the disruptions this week. Anne-Marie, yesterday, United cancellations alone were responsible for more than half of the almost 1,200 flights canceled in the U.S. About 25 percent of all United flights did not take off yesterday. Today, their cancel rate's around 11 percent. That's still far higher than the sub-2 percent. That would be normal. Uh, but much better than it was yesterday. Uh, so I, that's why I kind of referred to things as less bad uh, mm -hmm. so far. United says they are in the process of sort of riding the ship and expect to be able to get back on track for the holiday weekend. But it's going to be a big test today. We know that, uh, that there are some weather concerns uh, that could pop up again today. Um, so if travelers are stuck or, you know, their flight has been canceled, what should they do? Are companies working to remedy these, these issues? Well, certainly the airlines are doing the best they can. It, if if uh, there's a thunderstorm situation like uh, we're seeing right now in Chicago uh, or some of the operational just challenges, um, you know, they're, they're doing the best they can, I think, is, is what we can say about the, the airlines. Uh, travel alternatives right now, getting on another flight is going to be tough. I mean, you're going to see very, very busy airports today and tomorrow in particular. Um, Saturday, Sunday, Monday might be an opportunity to catch up and get some of these folks that have been displaced back on their way. Uh, but you, you may have to get creative. Is there is there a train? Is there a rental car? Is there another option uh, that gets you out of the problem plagued area uh, to somewhere where where things are working better? I mean, you heard the, the guy in our story that was sort of ping ponging up and down the East Coast trying to get to Manhattan. Mm -hmm. uh, ended up flying into Islip, which isn't isn't ideal, uh, but it's a lot closer to home than Baltimore or Nashville. were. Wait, where did you say he flew into? 
he flew into Islip. Uh, oh, I, I thought you said so, Iceland. I was like, oh you know. my gosh, that yeah. sounds horrible. <laughs> Well, at least then you're getting a vacation, right? <laughs> you're right, exactly. I always wanted to see Iceland. Um, all right, Chris, thank you so much. <laughs> sure thing.